I think that Modern Warfare 3 Zombies has a different type of replayability than Round Base does. In fact, let me show you something. <laughs> You're not the only one that has a whiteboard, Waffles. Plus, we all know that it was Rad Austin who was the original zombie whiteboard YouTuber. Now, I hope I can frame this right here. So as you can see, down here we have a zombie player's playtime. The further right is the longer amount of time played. And on the top here, we have player progression. So it would be like starting out with nothing and then getting your perks, getting your pack-a-punch, getting the legendary ether tool, getting your wonder weapon and all that sort of good stuff. With a normal... Uh, with a normal round based map, your progression is pretty quick. You go really far through the progression pretty quickly. That's a terrible line. That's a terrible. There you go. It's a little bit smoother. Your playtime, you're going to progress through the progression of zombies, usually within one game, which usually takes, you know, about maybe an hour, maybe even a half hour to get set up. Now, with Modern Warfare Zombies, your progression is honestly a lot slower and it takes a lot more time. You're going to be spending days days, hours and hours and months and months of grinding schematics and containment levels. And you could see that you're probably going to sp be spending a lot more time getting all through the progression of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies than you would with just a simple round based map. And so this is really the dichotomy of these two zombie modes. This makes me feel like Wilson from Tool Time. I don't think any of you got that reference. But when Modern Warfare Zombies players say, hey, how could you like round based? It's such a short play time to get through your progression with Modern Warfare Zombies. You do all these things you do, you know, containment levels and schematics and all this stuff. They're right in terms of like, hey, Modern Warfare Zombies has a little bit more replayability than round based. However, round based players will be able to go through this progression and then on the very next game, maybe it's a different map. Maybe this is Gorod Krovi and this is Shadows of Evil and then this is nine. They go through a whole other progression in a completely different way. Not only that, round based players when they're up here on the top of the player progression the next game they can go all the way back down to nothing and the whole point one of the biggest reasons that players love round based is to experience that progression from going from absolutely nothing to all kitted out at the end of their game in fact cold war zombies and and black ops 4 zombies that was one of the main criticisms was that you start off too strong and one of the biggest things about modern warfare zombies is people were worried about hey you're going to start off with legendary tools and pack-a-punch crystals. You're going to start off too strong. But because of the different dynamic of Modern Warfare 3, starting off strong is actually part of the game because you're here. you're slowly progressing through the game over the course of many, 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 many matches. Now, the problem with Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, in my opinion, and this is something that more and more and more people are going to experience as the game gets older and older. The more you play Modern Warfare Zombies, the more you progress through, the higher you get here. And the problem is round based. Once you're here, you just fall back down here. But in Modern Warfare Zombies, like where I'm at right now, once I have all the schematics, I've done all the axe story missions. I've got good containment levels. I've got a good stash. There is absolutely no way for me to return to zero. There's absolutely no way. And you know what? I even tried. I tried to get a new account. I tried to buy Modern Warfare 3 Zombies again on a new account can't do it. You need like a different phone number. And I only got the one phone number. So I can't reset my stats. There's no prestige system. I am perpetually forever stuck at this high note right here. I cannot feel and experience the joy of finally getting the epic ether tool. I cannot re-get schematics. I cannot complete the act story missions all over again in Modern Warfare 3. All of that content is done. So while you may look at this and go, hey, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies has a lot of replayability because of how long this progression takes, fans of round based, myself included, would argue that round based maps have more longevity to them. We are always, always going to be able to play Shadows of Evil from the start to finish every single time whenever we want to. Not to mention, you could have different types of runs in round-based zombies, just like you can have different types of runs in Modern Warfare zombies. I've played games of Gorod Krovi where I get every single thing upgraded. I get every single thing you know that the map has to offer. I've also played games of like Dreisendraha where I don't even get the bows and I don't even do the Easter egg. And it's just, I just wanna play Dreisendraha. There's many different ways of playing all of these round-based maps, just like there's many different ways of playing Modern Warfare zombies. I'm gonna put this down, I was getting ahead. But there's also a, a more philosophical or, or psychological problem with Modern Warfare zombies as well. Modern Warfare zombies is built around rewarding players for doing things. And I see a lot, especially around DLC time like we are now, hey, this is great content for like a day. You know, it's great to go into the dark ether and to get all these schematics, but I did it in like a weekend. Now I'm done with the game, which is always strange because there's so many YouTubers out there making content on these 
decades old, decade, years old zombie maps. So what is it that is motivating players to play round based maps just for fun rather than playing Modern Warfare Zombies just for fun? And the problem is the reward system. Modern Warfare Zombies rewards you for everything. Take the Red Worm. The Red Worm is, like I say, one of my favorite boss fights in all of Zombies. Just the Worm in general is one of my favorite boss fights in all of Zombies. Once people get all of the schematics, they are less likely to play and to beat the Red Worm. Because, hey, I've got all I needed. There you go. I'm done with that piece of content. But then when you look at something like Outbreak and you have like the Tempest boss fight and that whole entire Easter egg, there was no reward at the time for completing that Easter egg. I think you got like the big, uh, you know, super Easter egg at the end of the Cold War's life cycle, but there's really no, like you don't get anything for it. Yeah, you get a cool cutscene, but as with all of the other Easter eggs in Round Base Zombies, it doesn't give you this really huge, powerful, overpowered thing. Some of them would give you Perkaholic for the rest of the game. Some of them would give you like permanent Perkaholic, but ultimately the reason to do the main quests in Round Based maps is because the gameplay is fun. Whereas the primary motivating factor to beat the Red Worm or go do the Dark Aether is because you need something out of them. You need a schematic, you need an item, and you need something. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I know all the round-based people are like, yeah, exactly, you should just play it for fun. And and don't get me wrong, you can still play for fun. I do it on the channel nearly every single day. I play Modern for Zombies for fun, but that's not how the game is designed. The game is designed to give you rewards all the time, which is why way back when, I said, I think the stash should be unlimited because the whole purpose of the game is to get those things. But it's the pros and cons. If the whole game is about getting those things and at a certain point you have a limited stash and you have limited schematics and you have limited this and you can't prestige in any way, then yes, there is going to be an end of the line. It's going to almost be like a campaign thing where it's like, congratulations, you found all of the things you need to find. You're done with the game now. Again, it's not a bad thing. It's just something different. It's a different way. It's a different business model. And I see this. Uh, There's a really silly conversation on my Discord forever ago. Somebody was like, man, they really need to add more content into these DLC updates to Modern Warfare 3 because, you know, I want to play this game and that game. And, and you know, I don't play. I think the example was like God of War. God of War has like 30 hours worth of content that I want to play. So the DLC better be just as much of that or something similar to that. And I was like, Hey, how much game time do you have in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies? I, th I think they'd done like Borealis and they got all the schematics and they said, I got five days, a hundred hours into Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. So if a hundred hours into a game isn't that kind of enough, that's a lot of game time. That's a lot of hours to put in. I know I have a ton of hours to put into Modern Warfare 3 and I don't even have Borealis yet. I'm curious to all the people who say, oh, I have all the schematics, I've done all the story missions. How much time do you have in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies? And when we get on our soapbox and when we say, oh my goodness, there needs to be more content, how much content is enough? Now, uh, like we've just said, I do think that it's not enough what we've been getting in these DLCs and these uh, seasonal, seasonal updates, but again, we can't dismiss the content that is already there. And something that I've always been a, a big believer in is that I cannot tell you ever in my entire life, I cannot tell you a game, a TV show, a food, a movie, a piece of music, a, a, a song that I can listen to, watch, enjoy, eat, whatever, every single day, all year round. Even though I understand Activision and the marketing team of Call of Duty all want you to just always be engaged, don't miss out, here's the next season of content, the next season of content, please keep playing our game, even though that's kind of their MO, I have never done anything every single day, all year round. It's okay to not play Modern Warfare 3. It's okay to not play this game every single day. It's okay to skip out on a season. I did it all the time. And what's really cool is that you take a break from Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, you wait like one or two seasons, you come back on the third season, now you've got like three whole seasons worth of content, now you're overwhelmed with how much content there is. This is exactly what I did in Cold War. After Firebase C, I was kind of burnt out, I was like, okay, I'm not really feeling it anymore. And then I came back around Maurer or Toten, and oh my goodness, all this Outbreak stuff is new, all this Onslaught stuff is new. Well, I guess uh, it's gonna get it, but there's more changes to the dynamics of zombies, and I did the Dark Aether, or the Dark Matter grind, and then Maurer or Toten came out, and that was so much fun, and I couldn't find the blue door, and you know, I got 3,000, 4,000 subscribers, it was so fun. It's okay to take a break, and whether you guys know it or not, I'm taking a break from Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. You guys just can't tell, can you? No, you can't. I've been playing Minecraft. I've been playing 
uh, older round based maps because these games are so separate that playing zombies like around based zombies is so refreshing. I've also been playing Battlefront 2 Star Wars. That's one of my favorite things to just go on there and grind co-op. It's so much fun. You do not need to play Call of Duty all year round. Some of the best video games of all time aren't the most replayable. I love the Metroid franchise and I think Metroid Dread is awesome. I think it's it might be my favorite Metroid game of all time, honestly, but I love the Metroid Prime series. But those are singular Metroidvanias that you play once, you get all the things and you're done and you could replay it again if you want to do it again. But it doesn't have like a hundred hours worth of content on it from the games that I enjoy, from the games that I hold in high regard. Call of Duty, good or not, quality or not, whatever, has a lot of hours of content. And if I were to compare it to like a YouTube video, YouTube videos are not necessarily better the longer they are. I love epic rap battles of history. Those two or three minute videos are some of the best content on YouTube, if you ask me. They embody what YouTube is. I adore them so much. The, the history, the knowledge, the fun, the quirkiness, the weirdness of, you know, rap battles in history. But their content isn't any worse than something like maybe Mark Rober's content because his videos are longer and you could just watch them for longer. Movies aren't better because they're longer. Movies are the best length when they are as long as they need to be. And the same goes for video games. The best video game is as long as it needs to be. I know there's a lot of people, especially Mono Warfare Zombies people, who just cannot wrap their head around how can you like a round-based map? It's so boring. Once you play it once, it's over with. But the experience of that round-based map, the quality of that experience is just so refreshing. It's like watching an epic rap battles of history rap again because it was so good you want to experience it over and over again. The Walking Dead. I know Expert Fusion loves The Walking Dead if you're here. Welcome, by the way. Um, season 7 and Season 8 of The Walking Dead had good moments, but they were stretched, full of filler content. That TV show would have been better if it was shortened. Avatar, The Last Airbender, the, the, the cartoon, not the Netflix series. I actually haven't seen the series. Is it any good? I've heard mixed things. But the cartoon, in my opinion, is on my shelf of one of the most perfect series of all time. And it's only three seasons. Just because there's not hours and hours of content in a DLC drop doesn't make it bad. You guys have all seen how much all of us YouTubers have gotten out of just the mags of holding attachment. Oh my goodness, that thing is nuts. And the sandbox of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies really lends itself to that style of subtle additions and content. So even though I'm sitting here going, oh my goodness, dead wire explosions, who cares about that? That could be the next best thing, the new meta of Modern Warfare Zombies, just because of the sandbox nature of all of this. Again, I don't want to make excuses for a lack of content in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, but I don't think people appreciate or really give the right credit to what these things do to the sandbox and the core gameplay of this uh, extraction shooter. I hope Modern Warfare 3 Zombies sees a comeback. I hope Sledgehammer jumps in and...